Hey pottery friends! Welcome to the pottery studio on Bonaire to my vlog. Uh, it's that time of year where we need bandanas and big tent dresses. It's so hot, it's so hot. But um, never mind. I have been working on some more items for that totem. I've been a bit naughty. Um, I told myself in August that I was going to really do a good job about stocking up for the, the gift giving season that's coming up end of the year and then I started to do the totem and I didn't feel like doing anything else but hand building. <laughs> Let's get you updated. The turtle is coming up, it's drying, you've seen that and you will see the rest. <laughs> uh, we did some I had to do some kiln maintenance. I think I said it a couple of videos before. I showed you uh, uh, my elements coming in through, through the mail and the last firing. It took a little bit too, it started to take very long before the um, uh, kiln was, was done. So yeah, so I called in my hobbies help. <laughs> so we did that over the weekend. I have a little bit of short footage of that. Hey friends, look at this, what's going on? Don't panic, don't panic, it's just kiln maintenance. Hobby helps me and uh, for now we have the casing off and there is some a WD-40 on there to um, get the screws loose, although they are, he is able to get them loose and then we will change out the elements a few videos ago I showed you or I told you that I uh, ordered new ones so yeah that's what we're doing this weekend uh, oh look 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 who's hiding there look who's hiding here he's all dried now so as soon as this is done I'm hoping to fire him. Wish us luck! That kiln firing, the last one, you saw that a small light blue bird bath. Well, it has been tested and it's been approved by the birds. I have some footage of that for you as well. We have birdies all over now. Two of them in the other bird bath. And I don't know whether they are waiting for that little dove to leave or... Oh, I guess not. One is gone.
else is new, not that much. I still have some... Oh, can I show this to you? I have to look there because, well, those of you who follow me, the viewer of my camera is broken. So I have to I have, a, I have a cable and I have to look there to see if I'm in the picture. I'm still um, saving for the camera. These are some magnets that are still awaiting their... Uh, oh! Ah, shoo! Oh! Bless me! Where did that come from? I don't know. Uh, they are still awaiting their magnet, which I still haven't bought yet. So, that's on its way. Because I did do something. Uh, still working on that... Still working on that totem. I just couldn't stop him and building. So, this, ah, I will show you up close, it's a little fishy boat, well little, <laughs> it's pretty heavy actually, there we go, it awaits, it's decorating, I've had it for a couple of days in the jimmy now, because I had the idea of, oh, can I show you the inside, there it is, I had the idea of, you know, putting either people or animals in here, but I don't think I will. This um, will be covering the pole that's going through there to stack it. So there's a boat on its way. I have one more piece for that totem. Not finished yet. I mean, the building is not even finished yet, so I, I do have a lot of decorating to do when they are done. This will probably be the top part. And I still don't know how many pieces there will be. Um, I'm still working on that. Can you tell? Yeah, well, sort of, kind of. The, oh, okay. This is a wave, as you can tell. I hope. Yeah. This is inspired by one of our lighthouses here on Bonaire. I believe we have five. I'm correct. Four on uh, Bonaire and one on Klein Bonaire. And this is one of our slave huts that are still here uh, on the beaches. And I have one more. Uh, yeah, I have one more all wrapped up <laughs> that's going to come here. There we are! Oh, uh, I still see something in there. Okay. Stop fiddling! I'm always fiddling. There's my wave with the lighthouse and two slave huts. This is now going to go into our drying room as quickly as I can. And then, um, thinking about you know the, the pole is going to come through here there <laughs> and I need to cover that I want to cover that up so I might be making a fish that jumps in there somewhere I don't know yet but this needs to um, they need to connect and dry together so I'm going to wrap this one up and then uh, I don't know. <laughs> As always, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, take. I'm going to take a break, have some more water, and uh, I'll get back to you in the next clip. Bye bye. Bye bye. I will try get the camera steady somewhere and take you along with me. But now, first, let me show you what I did 
with the turtle, its last decoration face, Mishima, mostly, I think only. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then we'll, we'll see. Sorry, it's too hot to think. <laughs> Water. I'm going to take a sip of water, put the camera in a little bit safer spot, and then we'll see what happens. And uh, well, I hope you enjoy the last piece of that turtle making. Bye for now! Hey folks! Oh, it's so hot! Stop complaining. You moved to the Caribbean. Okay, hello, it's the next day. It's time for our cutie turtle. Um, I did one thing already. You didn't miss a lot. I put some wax on it. It's right here. <laughs> I put wax on it and it is now almost ready to do some Mishima. Uh, Part of me knows where I'm going, part of me not yet, so we'll see. In the meantime, I hope you are doing well. Uh, I hope, uh, yeah, I hope you're doing well. I don't know what I'm laughing about. Oh my word. Uh, I guess it's just the heat. You hear that? Still there? That's gone. When it's this hot, um, I don't know what the word is in English. Cicadas? If I call it cicades? I don't know. <laughs> oh, and that was a bird that flew under my roof. Uh, cicadas, you know, the big, big... Um, are they beetles? Oh, well, the ones that make a lot of noise. We have them here too. I love hearing them. But it also means it's warm. Uh, so even they are a bit early this year. Uh, let's get back to our turtle. I'll um, adjust the camera and take you with me with uh, Mishima. Don't get dizzy now. Whee! You should see this construction. It's hilarious. It's just like how I um, do my phone in my car, you know. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to bend this down. Here we go. Et voila! There he is!
Christmas people so far so good I had a little trouble with the wax I showed you it came off no matter how careful I was it came off on more places it's a wax I've been using for a long time it's not the wax although it's a little bit softer than the average one I think it's uh, it's just the heat even uh, on these parts where the wax has been on for over 24 hours it came off here and there right there can you tell and on the on the feet here and there um, it's it adds to the rustic <laughs> um, uh, look I guess um, I decided for black for everything and um, I am now going to add in the tiny little good fortune good luck uh, wholesome um, whatever what else do I have beauty all the you know tiny little details I'm going to carve them in and and uh, put some slip in there just little symbols so it's going to get uh, another treatment so um, follow along you know I say why not guys while I have my camera set up for hopefully some more Caribbean bird footage I thought I'd zoom out of course I first zoom in <laughs> and show you my little set up there there's my pottery garden that's how I have things set up you can see the little let me see if I can over there those two those are the Talentia hangers that came out of the same firing as that cute little bird bath and of course also I need you to show you Bob I just dropped into my head Bob it is done there's Bob hello come say hi Bob oh. I can tell when I look at my big screen that the lighting is not very good so I'm going to change this setup for you guys so you can um, get a close-up from Bob see you in a sec Ta-da! is 
Isn't he cute? He looks a bit funky. The colors, of course, because there's wax all over. That's his tummy. You can see it's already drying a little bit. I do have him in the in the jimmy in the fridge to dry slowly. So we'll see whenever he's dry enough and ready for some. Um, oh, oh, bummer! That sucks. Hmm. Well, I guess that's going to be glued on after the firing. Yikes! Oh well. I'll cry later. Show you first. <laughs> um, because it's dried already a bit, you cannot really tell how black the black is. But, you know, this is all black. Uh, Mishima, black outlines. And the little um, symbols that you saw me make in the, in the last part. Oh, look at his smiling face. Okay, um, these little round things, they are light pink with a white uh, dot and they represent pearls. And pearls, they, um, they stand for wisdom, wisdom through experience and beauty and love. Um, then there are uh, one or two, two, there's one, let me see. And there's also one down there. Little bees. And of course the bees stand for fertility, prosperity and community. Because you know, they love their hives. And um, they also help us remind and remember to not forget to enjoy the sweetness of life because of their honey, of course. And then there are two, if I'm correct. Why can't I find you? Yeah, there's one. And there's one. Ladybugs. And ladybugs stand for good luck and good fortune. And a little bit protection because they are very good for, uh, farmers love them because they're good for the crops. They keep uh, the nasty insects away. So there you have it. Bob, can I? I don't know. Let me see if I can get you another perspective. Hold on. Can I? I will just do this. And well, three legged Bob for now. <laughs> there you go. There's the hummingbird. Different colors of blue and turquoise. Two flowers, banana leaves, and there are the flamingos. It's pretty heavy, I must say. Another cactus, and this says Douchey Bonaire. And this represents, oh, again, I'm sorry. This represents the yellow stones that we have here along the coasts that will indicate to our diver divers that come visit Bonaire that that's a good spot to go offshore diving and they always have a name uh, oil slick and pink beach and thing like, things like that and that's almost always in black and the stones are almost always yellow and I carved in there Douchey Bonaire and Douchey is another word for well almost anything nice actually <laughs> it's um you can say hey douchey, like hey sweetie, hey honey, but also say douchey food, nice food, things like that. So it's a it's a very nice positive word and you hear it all over Bonaire. So yeah, I think I've rambled enough about Bob. I am absolutely in love and um, you know, I'll get that flipper fixed for you buddy. I will, I will put it back on you. So there we have it. Let's put him down carefully before I break off another flipper. Oh my word. Uh, that's it for now, folks. It's not so much a vlog, more of a Bob vlog and a little bit of birdies. I will keep the camera 
set on that uh, new bird bath. See if I can catch some more birds. And I will add it to the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. It's been a long process, so it's been a lot of editing and um, uh, yeah, it makes it a little bit different than, you know, doing something like this live. It, would take, it takes hours. It just takes hours. But I am totally enjoying then building at the moment, working on a second project, I've already told you. Uh, and I'll see if I can take you along with that one as well. So again, ask me any question if you like. And I will get back to you. Have a very nice weekend and a good week that's coming up. Be healthy, be happy, and take care of each other. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.